Count down nicely. <laughs> he always goes five, three, one. Go. <laughs> the bottom line is he was rich and he was young. Mm. And he was a ruler, he was an influential person in the society. Welcome to Energy Aid, a program for young people just like you and I. As growing up as a refugee and being mm. able to go to school and, and uh, being a doctor, you know, it was... Wow. <laughs> yes, because how do you learn more about him if you don't doubt? If you don't doubt, wow. By the way, you can't even trust God if you don't doubt, do you know that? Welcome to Energy Aid, a program for young people just like you and me. My name is Adela Chokoto, and in the studio today I have Richard Mvula, and we'll be talking about prayer. If you want to know what prayer is and have a desire to know what prayer is about, then this program is just for you. Welcome, Richard. Thank you. Now, some people may be wondering why on earth are we talking about prayer of all the topics. I just want you to explain to the viewer, why should we be so concerned about prayer as young people, if at all? Um, if you are to look at the times which we are living in, mm -hmm. these are dangerous times mm -hmm. whereby we can't afford just to live the way we are to live. Mm -hmm. um, prayer is something as vital as the food which we take. Mm -hmm. Each and every day, we, for us to be healthy and for our own well-being, we have to take food. Mm -hmm. So, what the food does to our body mm -hmm. is the same thing which uh, the prayer does to our spiritual life. Mm -hmm. For us to live the hustles of life today, mm -hmm. we need those supernatural powers which can only come to us through true. the word of prayer. Mm -hmm. sure. And that's true. And, you know, just by you saying that, it reminds me of that verse in Revelation 12, verse 12, which tells us that the devil knows that he has a short time. That's right. And you're very right in saying that in the times that we're living in, it's very important for us to um, devote our lives um, through prayer. Now, now that we've talked about the importance and why we should be so concerned about it, what is prayer? What does it mean to pray? Uh, prayer basically is like a channel of communication mm -hmm. between God and our souls. Mm -hmm. And usually God speaks to us through his word mm -hmm. and we respond to him uh, through prayer. Because mm -hmm. as we say communication you have, must be two-way. Mm -hmm. There might be, be somebody who is sending the message and somebody receiving and has to give feedback. Mm -hmm. So God talks to us through his word, the Bible, mm -hmm. and we talk to him uh, through oh, prayer. So that's mm -hmm. the communication which is there between us and our God. Mm -hmm. And I loved this definition that I found on this website called All About Prayer. Yes. And it simply said that prayer is our direct line with heaven. That's right. Yeah, and I thought that was such a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And even when we look at this book, Steps to Christ, yes. um, when we read through this book, um, Ellen G. White also says that prayer is the opening of the heart yes. to God as a friend. Yeah, I like that quotation mm -hmm. as well. Because... Mm -hmm. We, we we're not taking God as a friend. You know, a friend is somebody whom you talk your little narcissists. Mm -hmm. So with prayer, you can talk to God anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he is your friend. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. We'll be right back after this item of music. <laughs> I'm 
Mfano wa kende dwa taniere Oh, seo Analiba pontima Alipo For the song, we were talking about prayer, and we had defined prayer simply as our direct line with heaven. Now, you know, prayer is often seen as something that's very complicated. You know, asking someone to pray in church just, you know, for Thanksgiving or something is a very difficult thing to do. A lot of people give excuses, no, I can't do it, and, you know, all sorts of things. Um, before the song, we talked about how um, prayer is just the opening of the heart to God as a friend. So with that said, how can we begin a prayerful life? Um, looking at the notion as taking God as our friend. You know, when you regard somebody as your friend, mm -hmm. you don't have to rehearse whatever you have to say. Mm -hmm. You just have to say it the mm -hmm. way it is. If you are hurt, you just say, I'm feeling like this. Mm -hmm. So same applies when somebody wants to pray, uh, you just have to open your mind to God and to say whatever you think mm -hmm. it, it is right. And uh, maybe if you are feeling, I think you can borrow an example for the disciples. Okay. You know, the disciples, they asked Jesus, Lord, teach us how to pray. Mm -hmm. And because whatever we, we were feeling like, God is going to help us to say. And the Bible tells us that uh, the Holy Spirit will even help us to utter the things which maybe we might even fail to express ourselves. But mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is going to take over whatever we're going to say to the throne room of God and God is going to listen and to answer. And the beautiful thing about God is He never tires about listening to us. Mm -hmm. Whatever we may think is small or it's big, God is ready to listen to us. Mm -hmm. And he, when He's listening to us, He's listening as if there's no one else, it's only us. Mm -hmm. So that's the beautiful and the, the something which can give us the comfort so that we should not be shy. Because as you have said, mm -hmm. often time when somebody is asked to pray in church even, mm -hmm. people, they have butterflies around. Yeah. Why should I pray? Mm -hmm. But just say anything as to whatever is happening and it's going to help uh, to help us and even give us that comfort that mm -hmm. we have talked to the maker of the universe, the one who has got uh, all the treasures of the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, and, you know, the prayer is like a key to that uh, storehouse where there is everything. Yeah, yeah. So you just have that confidence to say, okay, I'm talking to God, and the, my prayer is that key which is going to unlock whatever I'm lacking. Mm -hmm. sure. And you mentioned earlier, so I just want to go a bit further, that um, prayer is just like talking to a friend. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's also what Ellen White um, tells us. So... That basically means, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, that we need to build a relationship because, right. you know, for you to, to call someone a friend, it means you have a relationship. Yes. Yes. And how do we do that? Um, we, need we, to to, we need to constantly be mm -hmm. 
uh, talking to God through prayer, mm -hmm. as well as reading his word. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, uh, prayer is that two-way communication. God is speaking to us through his word. Mm -hmm. So if we follow his word and uh, we abide by his commands, mm -hmm. uh, we have that confidence that whatever we are as asking him to do, he's going to respond and to answer to us. Mm -hmm. uh, and more especially when we commit that in his will mm -hmm. and uh, committing everything in Christ's will is submitting uh, whatever we have as to say it is God's will which is going to be more profound than ours. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we need that relationship, mm -hmm. a daily relationship, not just a, a one, a, a today you are in a relationship with God and tomorrow you are doing your own way. <laughs> Even our ethical relationship, mm -hmm. uh, somebody whom you regard as a friend is the one whom you speak to him on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have friends who maybe we might speak once in a year. Those are not like, they cannot <coughs> tell you how you are feeling or yeah, yeah. what you are going through. Mm -hmm. But those whom we are in constant uh, communication, they are the ones whom are regarded as true friends. So, yes, we need to be in that relationship and talk to God on a daily basis. Mm. Yeah. And God says, pray unceasingly. Yes, yes. It doesn't necessarily mean that we we'll stop doing everything and we'll just be praying. Mm -hmm. But we can be playing whilst maybe we are in, or we are in public transport, mm -hmm. we, are, we are at home, we are in church. Mm -hmm. And the most important prayer is that individual prayer. Yeah. Yes, uh, corporate prayer is important, family prayer is important, but we should also devote that individual prayer. We should develop that character of praying for ourselves separately mm -hmm. and praying for other people as well. Mm. Sure. So prayer doesn't mean that you have to kneel down all the time? No. Yeah. So you can also just pray like in your mind with your eyes open. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's very possible. That's right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in the Bible as well, we have so many examples of young people mm -hmm. who prayed. For example, we're told that Daniel prayed three times a day. Um, Paul and Silas as well, when they were in jail, they mm -hmm. prayed and the, the jail doors were open. And even Jesus himself prayed. And yet he was the son of God. Mm -hmm. And he would even think, you know, why should he why pray? Why should he pray? Yeah, because... He, was he knows, yeah. <laughs> and I think that's a very beautiful thing that it doesn't really matter who you are, mm -hmm. um, where you're coming from or what point you're at in your life. But I think every one of us needs to pray. And uh, if, if you are to remember that example of Jesus praying, mm -hmm. and before Jesus went to, to that prayer session, mm -hmm. he asked his disciples to say, watch and pray. Mm -hmm. And you know what happened to them. Mm -hmm. They were sleeping. Mm -hmm. And when the hour of temptation came, they were found wanting mm -hmm. because they are not praying. Mm -hmm. So we can't undermine the power of prayer. Because yeah. if Christ himself knew the importance of prayer, who are we to neglect that part? Mm -hmm. We need to pray even. Mm -hmm. sure. And you know, the thing with prayer is, I think one of the things that discourages a lot of people from praying is when they pray, they are not answered. Um, I've heard that God answers in three ways. He'll either say yes or no or wait. And what do you think about that? Because I feel that a lot of people, when they say I'm praying or asking God for something, they expect God to give it to them. And when it's not given to them, they feel betrayed or discouraged from praying. So what would you say about that? Um, we should do learn to understand that no is also an answer. Mm. Often time we are expecting positive responses. Mm -hmm. So when we pray and we don't receive whatever we are asking for, we regard as God not responding to our prayers. Mm -hmm. But think of uh, like uh, a child who is always being given whatever he's, he, he or she asks. Mm -hmm. Can that child become more spoiled? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, be, we can be spoiled because it's like we, we get our way every time. Mm -hmm. So. God sometimes withholds certain things for our own good and for our own benefit. Um, and one thing we should remember that God knows what is best for us. Yeah. Sometimes we might ask things which are not good for us, but at that particular uh, material time, we might think it's very important. But mm -hmm. in the passage of time, we might realize that, yes, if God had granted that, maybe I wouldn't have ended up in this particular situation. Mm -hmm. So one thing we should realize is no is also an answer. And uh, as I said earlier, say, uh, we should always uh, to look for God's will in whatever we are asking. Mm -hmm. Is it his will? If it is not his will, then God is not going to answer. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So God, yes, can answer instantly. And uh, one of the instant prayers which God answers are the prayers for confession and forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. But there are also scenarios where God answers. And there are also scenarios where God even uh, intervenes in our situation without, without even us praying. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes true. God delays answering mm -hmm. for the betterment of us and even for betterment of others. Mm -hmm. a, a good example is if you remember the story in the Bible of Lazarus. Mm -hmm. The message came to Jesus that Lazarus is sick. He's dead. Oh, Im sick, yes. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if Jesus had rushed. Mm. People couldn't have seen the glory of God yes, seeing how, or, or even experiencing that resurrection of Lazarus. So it was for the betterment of even the people surrounding that particular community whereby mm. God seemed to have delayed, mm -hmm. but he eventually came and he performed that miracle. Mm. And you, you, you can just imagine what impact it, it had uh, to that particular community. Mm. So yes, God answers yes, answers wait, or we can say no. Mm. And we should accept no as being also an answer. Yeah, sure. that's, that's very profound, I think. Um, now there's a term called a prayer warrior. What does that mean? Yeah, a prayer warrior is one of the ways which are recently being used. Mm -hmm. Uh, a prayer warrior is regarded as somebody who is in constantly, uh, more especially praying for others mm -hmm. as well as for himself. Mm. So that particular person, you are regarding yourself as in engaged in that spiritual affair, okay. uh, battling the satanic forces mm -hmm. because the devil also has power. Mm -hmm. So there are certain scenarios where even Christ say, these are only can only be achieved through prayer and even mm -hmm. fasting. Mm -hmm. So a prayer warrior is somebody who is constantly praying for success of the work of God, which mm -hmm. maybe other individuals are doing. Mm -hmm. For instance, maybe like the pastor is maybe is going out for preaching. Mm -hmm. Somebody who might be praying for that particular pastor while at home mm -hmm. for the success of the kingdom and for mm -hmm. the success of the work which that particular pastor is going to do. Mm. Sure. That sounds like a very, very heavy duty. It seems it's a heavy duty, but um, it's what we are supposed to do. Mm. We need to be praying. And uh, if we develop that particular character of prayer, um, it will not become a heavy burden mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it will become part of our character and our habit. Mm. That's true. And I think even when we do actually build that relationship with Christ, it should be much easier for us to actually pray. Um, to pray more, to pray continually, and to pray really hard for all the things that are happening around us. Right. Um, and how can we begin, what's the first step that we can take um, to becoming prayer warriors, or just being prayerful in general? Um, f first of all, I think we need to develop that relationship mm -hmm. with God. Mm -hmm. We must know who God is and uh, what He is in our lives. Mm -hmm. And then we understand uh, the impact that uh, prayer does and if we develop that character uh, and we un have that understanding I think it will be easy to be praying mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also we must make light in our conduct mm -hmm. because as we said earlier to say uh, if we are to be in relationship with a, any person we must be in uh, equal terms we must understand what that particular person demands or asks of us mm -hmm. and we must you know, that uh, we must reciprocate so yeah. if yeah. we understand what God asks us and we do his will, mm. his commands, mm -hmm. it's easy for us to go and ask God to say, God, uh, there's this particular situation. Mm. We need your intervention. Mm. Um, and Christ has even give, uh, or asked us to say, come unto me, all you who are heavy laden, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'll give you rest. Mm -hmm. So. A prayer warrior, as we said, somebody who understands that he's in this spiritual affair. Mm -hmm. He's engaging in a battle. Mm -hmm. So there's no point in time whereby you have to slumber, you have to sleep. Yeah. Because the, the, the burden is huge. Mm -hmm. We have to const constantly keep on praying mm -hmm. for, that, for the success of the work. Mm -hmm. sure. That's very beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Most you welcome. have been very inspiring, and I hope that the viewer as well um, has been inspired to begin the first step towards a prayerful life. Yeah, it's my prayer that um, whatever we have discussed is going to enrich our lives as well, mm -hmm. even as to the viewers who are seeing us mm. today.
That's very true. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, in conclusion, um, I'll just repeat a quote that I read out earlier, which says, prayer is the opening of the heart to God as a friend. And this is from the book Steps to Christ. And if you are able to get this book, I think it's a very good step for you as well to begin your prayerful life. You can find the hard copy um, online, but you can also just type in Google um, Steps to Christ by Ellen G. White and you can find it. Or you can download the Ellen G. White app on Google Play or in the App Store and you can find this particular book there and a lot more writings that she has also written um, on prayer and many other topics. And then I'd like to read a verse for you from Romans 12 verse 12 which reads, Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. I really hope that this program has blessed you and that it will help you take the first steps towards um, coming up with a prayerful life. You're with me, your host, Adela Chokoto, right here on Hope Channel Malawi with your program, Energy Aid. Join me again next week. And remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. <laughs> Oh, so I'm a